Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. It's fall time and the musical Ninky Nonk is riding through the leaves to come visit us. Hello Ninky Nonk. Let's play some music and play some games. See all the leaves that have fallen off the trees? When it gets colder, the leaves change color and fall to the ground. See the little light in our Ninky Nonk? Now we go pickle. Maca-paca. Okay, it's time to sort shapes. We push our button down and the Ninky Nonk spins. Let's get the shapes out of the Ninky Nonk. Mmm, this is tough. How do we do this? There we go. Oh dear, they fell into the wet leaves. We have Upsy Daisy as blue square, Iggle Piggle as a pink circle, and Macapaca as a yellow triangle. What fits in this shape? The square Upsy Daisy. We'll spin it around. What shape fits into this hole? The yellow triangle with Macapaca. And their last hole is the circle with Iggle Piggle. Hello, Poppy. Poppy's enjoying the fall weather outside. Okay, time to build our hahus. Look. Upsy daisies in the Ninky Nonk. Now we stack our hahus on top of each other. Which one goes first? Let's try the red one. It's bigger. It's a perfect fit. Now the yellow one We'll go right on top of the red one. There we go. All right, Ninky Nonk, let's have some fun with leaves. We collected a bunch of leaves and threw them on the Ninky Nonk. And thank you so much for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Oops. Goodbye. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Today the chipmunks and the chipettes are outside exploring with me. It looks like they're in a big bird's nest, but this is actually little wood shavings from a tree that was just cut down because it was old and it was getting rotten. It could have fallen down onto a house. Let's have a look at the tree. All of these rings represent one year for each ring, and that is how old the tree was. It's unfortunate we had to cut it down. Hey, Alvin, get away from those old boards. There are sharp, rusty nails sticking out of them. You can get hurt and cut and potentially sick from a rusty nail. Alvin loves to play outdoors, but let's go into the forest and we'll explore somewhere safer. Shh, look over there. Do you see what I see? It's a woodpecker. He's black, white with a red head. We have to be super quiet so we don't scare him away. I wonder if he's going to use his beak to peck a hole in the tree. 
There are three different reasons the woodpecker likes to peck the trees. He's either looking for food, such as insects or eggs. They also peck the tree to communicate to other birds or to create a nest. As we walk a little farther into the forest, we've seen something that doesn't belong here. Poppy's coming along with us. Come on, Poppy. The chipmunks and I have found some garbage. A plastic bag. Someone has littered. Plastic isn't good for our forests, and it's never good to litter. Let's pick this up, Simon, and we'll put it in the recycling or the garbage where it belongs. It might be too dirty to recycle. It's too bad. Eleanor is feeling a little hungry. And guess what? We've spotted some apples on the apple tree. Nice big green ones. They're probably just right. Nothing's better than a sweet crunchy apple right off an apple tree. Let's get this one for Eleanor. Very good. Brittany has noticed something black on the ground. These look like deer droppings. The deer are hungry, and they probably are eating some apples from the apple tree. Apples have fallen onto the ground. Here's one that a deer has been nibbling at. We need to make sure we pick up our fruit off the ground. We don't want to attract wildlife into our yards near our houses. They belong up in the mountains away from the roads and people. Well, thank you for exploring with us today. And thank you for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. <laughs> Goodbye. Candy Cat and Rebecca Rabbit are outside playing in the leaves in the sunshine. Whee! Look at all the leaves. Oh, look, it's Peppa and George. Hi, Peppa. Hi, George. Isn't it a wonderful day outside? I love to play outside. Oh, look, everyone. A bright red leaf. Isn't it beautiful? Oh, yes, Peppa. I brought something fun to show everyone. My rock collection. It's in a box, and it's called Gemology. There we go. There's a little book and a magnifying glass. They're all labelled. What is your favourite stone, Rebecca? I love turquoise. My mummy wears turquoise earrings. I love the tiger eye says Peppa. My favourite is the moonstone. It's like a pearly white. George, what is your favourite stone? This one. Oh, George likes the black onyx. I love your stone collection. Thanks for sharing with us, Candy. Now how about we pile some leaves and jump in the big pile. Whee! Ah, yay! So much fun playing in the leaves. And if you love our videos, tiny fans, please help us out by subscribing and hit the link below. Thank you and goodbye. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. We have our Daniel Tiger toy and the big bag of apples. We found these on the ground. Some of them have bruises, but we can still use the apples. We just cut off the rotten part. Do you remember when we were with Daniel Tiger searching the bushes for apples on the ground? Let's have a look back when Daniel found the apples. He climbed up into the bushes where there were lots of dry leaves, but there was also many juicy apples and a 
big grapevine climbing up the apple tree. We love apples in the fall time. You can make apple crisp, you can dry apples, you can make applesauce, or even apple juice, or just eat the apples the way they are. What are we going to do with our apples? We are going to dry them. They make a great snack for at home or school. We wash the apple, and then we have a special tool that we put the apple onto that will core it and slice it. But there are very sharp parts on the tool, so a parent always has to help when using this tool. We turn the red handle and it starts to push and spin the apple towards the sharp blade. And watch what happens. You can see the core and the apple is being sliced. And then each slice is placed on the drying rack. It will take about four hours to dry our apple slices. Apples are very healthy for us. They have a lot of fiber in them and vitamin C. Do you like green apples or red apples better? Daniel and I prefer red apples. And these apples are finished drying. They stay nice and dry in this glass jar. I think I'll have to have a bite. And thank you so much for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Dougie's arriving on the Sesame Street school bus. Count as the bus. Everyone off the bus in single file. No pushing, please. Pushing isn't safe. Hello, squirrels. Today we're going to learn about a certain season. Do you know what season it is? I know what season it is. It's fall. That's right, Rolly. It's when all of the leaves fall off the trees and the air starts to get cooler. We have tons of leaves around our place. Yellow ones, green ones, brown ones. Poppy loves to play in the leaves. Rolly finds a maple leaf. It has yellow, reds, browns, and oranges in it. And Nori finds a little branch with many little tiny leaves on it. Let's count the leaves together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve little leaves. Follow me, squirrels. I have a very big surprise for you. Whoa! Look at the size of that leaf. It's bigger than my hand. It's big enough to provide shelter for tiny little animals, or our Hey Dougie toys. All of a sudden, a huge wind gust comes along and blows a whole bunch of leaves off the tree, and they land on Dougie and the squirrels. Before we end our video, I noticed this big yellow wheelbarrow full of water. It poured rain last night. Look at all the leaves inside. Let's do some learning. Do you see a red leaf? I see one right here. The red ones are my favorite because they're so bright. And over here are those little ones we saw early in the video. These ones are yellow with brown spots. Do you see anything in this wheelbarrow that's not a leaf? Here's a branch from one of our cedar bushes. 
These needles have turned brown and fallen off the bush. Here's a cedar bush over here. It stays green all throughout winter. I've even spotted a nut in the water. This is a hazelnut. And the squirrels collect these for winter. We have two squirrels living around us and I've spotted one right now in the tree. Look carefully and you'll see him in the hazelnut tree. Let's leave this hazelnut for the squirrel. Do you see that white marble floating by Betty? It's actually a berry. We call them pop berries. You can squish them and they'll make a popping sound. This one was a little mushy because it was sitting in the water. It's so interesting to explore outside, especially at fall time. I encourage you to go outside, get some fresh air, and see what color leaves you can find. And thank you so much for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Today the Teletubbies are enjoying the fall weather outdoors. And they all want to go play. But first, Nunu has to clean up the big mess the Teletubbies made with the tubby custard machine. All cleaned up. Hey, Teletubbies, where's Lala? Silly Lala, she's hiding under the wet leaves. Hide and seek. Lala! The Teletubbies are relaxing on the outdoor swing. Let me give you a gentle push. Oh boy, the big yellow slide. And there's Puppy. Hi, Puppy. Lala goes first. Now Tinky Winky. Dipsy. And Poe. Whee! The Teletubbies landed softly in the wet leaves. They're back at home at the Tubbytronic Superdome. Poe's going down her slide. Wee! And so is Tinky Winky. Wee! Tinky Winky crashed into Poe. Poor Poe, is your face okay? Ew! Time for sleep. Good night, Teletubbies. And thank you for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Today we're at the annual fall fair. Look at the giant pumpkins, the giant zucchinis, and the sunflowers. Oh, look Very at this beautiful like large horse. He's so friendly. Look at how big his hoofs are. He's very strong. And see how his eye is covered? But he can still see. Hi, horsey. Look at the little baby chickies. They make the cutest little sounds. There's black ones and striped ones. And look, upsy-daisy, there's a chicken. This little donkey is all by himself. He looks so sad, but he's very adorable. Hi, donkey. Come over here, donkey. Iggle Piggle would like to pet you. No, he just likes to stand in the same place, Iggle Piggle. Oh, but this goat would like you to pet him. 
Hi, goat. Please don't eat Eggle Piggle. He just wants to give you a little pet. There's all the goat friends. They're just laying around. But this goat is quite friendly. Nice goat. These are alpacas. They like to chew and chew and chew and sit and relax. Macapaca likes the alpacas. They sound like his name. Alpaca, Macapaca. Look at the fall fair they teach you about the crops they grow. Wheat and barley. And you get to see what they look like before they're actually in our foods. There's what wheat looks like before it's turned into breads. Macapaca's hungry. We stopped at the mini donut stand. Oh, Macapaca, you have glaze all over your face. Macapaca. Oh, baby pigs. There's black ones and brown ones. They're adorable. There's even a little runt. He's the smallest one. See? And there's the big mama. She's humongous. She eats and eats. There's the little runt again. Do you see the smallest little guy? The little pigs are very friendly, but Mama says, Get away from my little piglets. She's very protective of them. They like the smell of our fingers. Oh! There's the little runt. He just wants to be included. He wants to be with his brothers and sisters. Oh, look, that's how Mama Pig feeds her little babies. They get milk from their mama. Well, thank you so much for coming to the fair with us today. And thank you for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye.